What's up guys, Christian here with River Pools. And if you're a new pool owner, first of all, congratulations. That's a really exciting time for you and your family. But perhaps you need the one-on-one on what all these components are, how the heck to operate them. Well, this video series is for you. Today, what we're gonna do is show you where all those components are, explain exactly what they do so you have an understanding of your pool and the filtration system. Welcome to episode one of your pool orientation. <laughs> we really need a catchy name for this thing. Okay, so we're at the pool park here at River Pools headquarters, but let's first take to the sky to explain where everything is. Okay, for the sake of this video, we're standing next to the C35. The filtration system for this pool is located here. Okay, let's start by explaining suction lines and return lines. Suction lines are the series of plumbing pipes that run from your pool to the pump and filtration system. They're called suction lines because the pump is sucking water from the pool in order to get it filtered and sanitized before sending it back to your pool through what are called return lines. All of the elements connected to suction lines would be your skimmers or possibly your main drains if your pool requires them. On the return side, these are things like the return fittings, bubblers, jets, cascades, water slides, anything that is sending water back into the pool. Okay, before we head over to the filtration system, I want to show you one more thing you're going to notice on your pool deck, and it looks as though it's a second skimmer. But what it actually is, is a sight tube so that you can assess the amount of groundwater on the outside of your pool shell. Now, you're going to want to keep a sump pump on hand in case you need to remove some of this groundwater. How do you know when to do that? Well, if you look at the tube and you see no water, that's the ideal situation. You're good to go right there. But if the water in the sight tube is halfway up the tube or halfway up the height of your pool, it's time to pump it out and remove it. If the water level is at the same height of the level in your pool or higher, you're in trouble and you are at high risk of having damage caused by hydrostatic pressure to your pool shell or your pool deck. So that's the sight tube. Now let's head over to the pump and filter system and go over all the components there and explain what they do. Okay, so we're at the pump and filtration system for the C35. We were just standing next to it. What we want to do is identify all of these parts and components so that you know what you're looking at when it comes time to maintain your pool. Let's start on the suction lines. Remember, these are the lines, the plumbing lines that come from your pool by way of the skimmer or the main drain if you have one. All suction lines, remember, are being pulled by the pump, and so they're coming up into what's called the strainer pot. Now the strainer pot is attached to the pump itself. And the strainer pot is the last basket, the last point at which large debris could be captured before the water enters your pump. This is a very important piece to your system because you do not want any debris to get caught up into the impeller, right, that's pulling the water, sucking the water from your pool. So the strainer pot is where all suction lines come together and enter before going into the pool pump. So here we go, suction lines, strainer pot, pool pump. After the pool pump, the plumbing is gonna come up and it's gonna split in two directions. To the right, in this case, is what's, the main, it's what's called the main drain or the waste line. And then the opposite direction is where the water will go under normal operating conditions towards your filter. Typically what you're going to find is probably a white stub pipe and then a blue uh, backwash hose is what will be provided to most clients and that allows the most flexibility to drain the pool from your water when that's necessary to wherever you need it. Okay, so again, suction lines, strainer pot, pool pump, the water then goes to the filter for your pool and this is where all the fine particulates in the water 
are filtered out. You have a cartridge filter, that's all that we're selling now, or all that we're installing with our pools at River Pools these days. That cartridge filter uh, is a large cylindrical device and uh, will, again, filter out all the particulates that are in the water that you may not necessarily be able to see. The water will then leave the filter, and if you have a heater, it will then enter the heater. If not, it's going to skip and go straight to the chlorinator. And you're going to have a saltwater chlorinator, most likely, that looks very similar to this or this. And in this case, the water is coming through here and being sanitized by way of the salt water being converted to chlorine. Also what's happening with these devices is that the salt water chlorine generators are eliminating what's called chloramines. Now, we're going to get into that in a later video, but just know that that funky chlorine smell that you sometimes encounter when you go to pools, indoors or outdoors, it's not what you think it is. It's actually unusable chlorine or chlorine that's been used up basically. And so this device right here takes care of that for you as well as produ produces chlorine to keep your pool sanitized. After this, the water is going to go back to your pool by way of the return line. So everything after the chlorinator is called the return line. And again, bubblers, jets, return fittings, cascades, waterfalls, all of those features are returns. You're going to notice one other device somewhere in your plumbing, and in this case it's here after the chlorinator on the return line, and this is simply called the pool bond, and it allows the pool water to be grounded and connected to the bonding system of your pool, and it's to prevent electrical shock. Okay, so everything is pretty simple to recognize. Again, suction lines are coming into your system. The strainer pot catches the last bit of debris before it enters the pump, if you need to drain your pool, it's going to go out of the waste line, but under normal operating conditions, it's going to go into the filter, catch those fine particulates, then head out to your heater. If you don't have a heater, it's going to go straight to your chlorinator, into your return lines, and back to your pool. Oh, I almost forgot. In and around your pump and filtration system, you're going to have a number of valves. Now, I won't go into what position the valves need to be in or what specifically they're doing at each point, but I will say that you need to identify them because you'll need to know how to use them to perform various tasks around your pool system. This particular valve is a three-way valve and that's because it has three points of entry into the valve and this is a two-way valve in which it has two points of entry. So again, these are valves, you're going to have them around your pump and filter system and we'll go over them in the next video. Okay, so there you have it. Now you know how to identify all the components from your pool deck and in your pool. You know what suction lines are, you know what return lines are, and you know how to identify all the components from your pump and filtration system. In the next video, we're going to take a deeper dive into the filtration system and explain what you need to do on a regular basis to keep your pool free from debris. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more educational pool content from us here at River Pools. I'm Christian. We'll see you in the next episode. Catch the wave.